For those people in the fossil fuel industry, it is a simple truth that your business is going to go away. It's just a matter of figuring out how to do that without leaving people behind or destabilizing the system. There's nine points of failure in the United States. You take any one of those out, then you could have partial grid collapse. And many of our bases are at the end of the power line. We don't want to lose these military bases. One of the questions they're going to be asking is, does the base have its own power? There's virtually no one that is opposed to solar. Now that differs from our elected officials going against their constituents. In six states across the country, power companies are fighting to change the rules. We understand that their bottom line is investment. They've got to turn a profit. There's an energy revolution going on. Shouldn't I have the freedom to put solar panels up in my roof if I want? Should there really be a utility telling me, no, you can't do that? If they keep trying to push that, more and more people are just going to disconnect from the grid. I want the power company at the table when it comes to developing solar and EVs because they have the money, they have the infrastructure. Put it on a moral foundation. Everyone has a right to clean water, to toxic-free air. I believe that God created this world and put that sun out there, in my opinion, for us to take advantage of. This is the civil rights issue of our time. Take care and protect my creation. We will stand as one united force. We will not bend, we will not break, and we will not bow down.